Hello great people, welcome to Financial Paul <laughs> YouTube channel. So in today's video, I actually wrote down six important questions you need to ask yourself when you want to venture into e-commerce business that would help you to make, manage, and multiply more money. Six important questions. Now, when you answer this question, you will be ready and able to make manage and multiply money e-commerce business is a very very sweet business especially if you have um if you have access to um quality products and you have quick access to quality product what do i mean if you have access to quality product that means you know where they sell quality product that you can buy from and if you have Quick access to quality products means whenever there is order, you never run out of stock. That's, that's the second quick, uh, what I mean by quick access. Access to quality product and quick access to quality product. So now if you want to venture into e-commerce business, there are six questions you need to ask yourself. In case you are new here, I am Financial Paul. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I talk on money, finance, investment. On this channel, we teach and train people on understanding different things that they need to have a better financial life. So in case you are new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I have a lot of videos on um investment and businesses you don't want to miss out and if you are not new here thank you for coming on this youtube video so don't forget to like that video i need this video to be liked smash that like button smash that like button before we continue smash the like button okay so please smash the like button now number one question you need to ask yourself is do i have capital what do I mean by capital now? I'm talking about money. Do I have money? Do I have money capital? That's number one question. Now I want to venture into e-commerce business. I don't have money. How do I kick off? How do I, um, how do I pro uh, position myself in a way that I actually am still going to thrive even though I don't have money? Now, uh, if you are new to this YouTube channel, maybe you are going to be hearing this for the first time. If you don't have money, one of the things you need to have and you need to have very well is good social skills. If you can talk to people who have this money, you should be able to collect the money from them. You should be able to have money. Another thing you need to know is um, you need to have good quality intellectual capital. You need to know the e-commerce business. So if you don't have money and you don't have social capital ability to convince people, this is very, very important. It helps you to leverage. And if you don't have intellectual capital, it is hard for you to have money. What do I mean by intellectual capital? I want to venture into e-commerce business how many um, trainings have you attended do you know the business that if they give you ten uh, hundred thousand naira now you can kick off or if you are giving two hundred thousand naira now you can kick off and you can maximize the money within the space of three months and you turn two hundred thousand naira to four hundred thousand naira. can you do that so if you don't have money you need to know the business well you need to research online that's why this youtube channel i have over 20 videos on e-commerce business if you go to my youtube channel video at the end of this video click on playlist and go to e-commerce you see over 20 videos if you're able to watch those videos you are good to go on e-commerce business so that has covered your intellectual capital social capital ability to convince people and say um, when i started i didn't have much capital i started firstly with three thousand five hundred even uh, even when i have more but actually started small because if you want to start business it's always good you start small even though you have much more to start start small and get your experience let your experience teach you next thing to do but if you invest all you have and why starting you, are, you might make loss and that experience will be, will be is a very serious one when you make loss on your um, your initial capital. So what you want to do is that you want to do a start small. So I started with 3,005 and when I noticed that this money was not enough, um, I decided to do what? decided to start marketing other people's products before i could convince people to start marketing their product i had to have quality social skills. I had to meet them say this is what i do if you do this if you put your product on this platform if i help you manage your products you make a lot of money stuff like that and the likes and i was able to convince these people and i took their products online and i sold them so if you um don't have money you need to have good quality intelligence as regards the business you want to go into and quality uh skills social skills to talk to people who have the money or who have the product now the second thing you need to question you need to ask yourself 
how can I leverage? Can I leverage? Can you leverage? When you don't have money, you need to learn leveraging. Leveraging is very, very key. I was saying this in some videos ago that if you are starting with some thousands of Naira business and you want to move into a million Naira, I've never seen any millionaire that started from scratch that never leveraged. They leveraged on time, people's time, leverage of people's uh, money, the leverage of people's uh, knowledge, the leverage of people's credibility. You need to leverage on people. Leverage means uh, making use of relationships you have have for your own good and for the good of the people so an example is this and uh, one of the ways i leverage is i have someone who um during um the lockdown period recommended me to a media house to import a particular product for their audience and that is credibility i leveraged on him credibility leveraging i leverage on his credibility he could recommend me to people and people trusted me with their fund and I imported the product and I delivered to them. So that is um, leveraging on people's credibility. You can also leverage on people's time or people's money. If you don't know how to leverage, you need to understand how to leverage. That is the one skill that will move you from um, thousands of Naira capital, uh, business capital to millions of Naira business capital. So you need to understand leveraging. It is very, 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 very key in business. If you are starting with some few thousands, for you to break loose, you need to leverage. And uh, while I was doing running my business, uh, I, I set up a mathematics called Millionaire Business Mathematics, whereby I needed to hit a millionaire sales target. I did, my capital then has increased to like, um, let's say, um, it has increased to like. Uh, 100,000 Naira and I needed to leverage so I kicked off um, I needed to make a million so I kickstarted this mathematics called the millionaire business mass if I want to make 1 million Naira sales I need to sell a product worth 100,000 if, if this laptop is sold for 200,000 I just need to sell only 5 pieces and I make a million Naira sales if I, just, if, if, I, if I want to eat a million Naira sales faster I just need to sell a product worth 100,000 Naira to 10 people and I make a million if I sell a product worth 50,000 Naira I need to sell to 20 people to make a million if I sell a product worth 25,000 Naira I need to sell to 40 people to make a million if I sell a product worth 12,500 Naira I need to sell to 80 people to make a million so I, I wrote down that analysis and I began to look at it that, okay these products I'm selling they are worth 3,005 they are worth 4,005 before I get a million Naira sales it's gonna take me to sell hundreds to sell to hundreds of people. Now let me focus on products that are a little bit middle end, 12,000, 15,000. So I wouldn't have to sell to hundreds of people, maybe 50 to 70 or 60 people. And with the help of internet, I could achieve this aim. But how could I have achieved this aim if I had just a few capital? I had to leverage on people's, uh, people's uh, fund. We leverage on people, one of my uh, customers. I leverage on his, on, on his capital. Okay, I have 100,000, I want to buy products worth uh, 150,000. Get me, give me, I'll, I'll pay you 50,000 when I deliver this product. And this was what I did and do and do and do and do until I was able to grow that business to a large scale. So can you leverage, number two question, that will help you eat millionaire. Uh, these are six questions that you need uh, that you need answers to that will help you meet it a millionaire in e-commerce business. Number three question is that can you save and invest ninety percent of all you made? You know, during this period, there's a lot of inflation and there's a lot of increase in the price of item. That is what inflation is. And you barely, um, you barely um, have zero expenses. And um, when I was on the radio, uh, on the TV program um, some hours ago, and one of the presenters uh, that was presented with me said, you can never have zero expenses, but you can have zero income. So, but you need to, in this current economy, you need to still position yourself in a way that you save more. Can you save 90 percent of your income and spend 10 percent or let's be realistic can you save um uh let's say 60 percent of your income and spend 10 percent and spend 40 percent if you can save as much as 60 percent or reinvest as much as 60 percent of your income then you can make a lot of money if you can spend as much as 60% of your income, then you can make a lot of money. So if you make profits, if you, if start, if you start now without capital and you're able to have a good leveraging skills, 
and you are making sales, save your money. If you can save your money, you can be wealthy. If you can save your money, you can be wealthy. If you can save your money, you can be wealthy. A lot of people want to live a show glass life, showing people what I have. This is what I have. This is what I have. This is what I have. And those show glass life cause you to live um, an expensive life because when people see you, they begin to tax you for money. And you have no choice because you still want to live up to the tax that you have money. You want to give from the little you don't, from the, from the little you have. So it's not bad you give, but one thing I always tell people, it is not good when you give your seed. Your seed is meant to be sown into the earth. Then when it germinates, when it brings forth fruits, you can give the fruits of those seeds. Most people give their seed and they don't have any other seed to tie, to, to, jam, to, to, to cultivate. So hide your seed and show, um, hide your need, sow your seed. Hide your need, sow your seed. Hide your need. You have a need, but don't really, don't, um, you have to look at your need in the scale of preference so that you can sow your seed. So that is one of the things you need to look out for. Sow your seed. This will help you to grow your income, make, manage, and multiply money. The number four question is that, are you partnering with other companies? If you want to make money in e-commerce business, you need to learn how to partner. Partnership is very key in e-commerce business. You need to learn how to partner with other e-commerce companies like the um, other e-commerce companies like Conga, Jumia, Gigi, and, and uh, Facebook, Marketplace, Equid, and various e-commerce companies. Partnership helps you to position well. Why you are still looking at marketing your product? You have other companies that are marketing for you and you grow uh, in that space. So, are you partnering with a company you are just selling on your own personal website and you are a startup? You don't have money to pay um, a, a good social media marketing agency who, who is going to market your product in a very, very professional way that will increase it. So you have to partner with e-commerce company. Number five question you need to ask, what product are you selling? You need to look at the trending products. There are some products that no matter what, they will always sell. And these are fashion products, electronics products, accessory products, and kitchen and accessories. What product are you selling? Are they hot selling products? If they are not, you need to switch to hot selling products. And the fourth one, I want the sixth question I want to ask you: Are you marketing? Even though you are partnering with e-commerce company, you need to learn how to market. You need to learn how to sell. You need to learn social media marketing so that you could support your business. One of the things that make people poor is that they don't know how to sell, and they don't selling is an online marketing is automated sell sales rather. You sell and you put it online. You you, you form a prototype that people can pass through a funnel that people can pass through and you put it online and you automate it that anybody all over the world can reach out to that um, website that you set out um, your marketing uh, structure people relate to the site they pay you you deliver them their goods so that is marketing marketing is online sales automated sales so can you market so six question do you have capital can you leverage can you save them and invest 90 percent or 60 percent of your income are you partnering with e-commerce company what are the products you are selling and are you marketing so in case you want to learn more about these differences like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I share you quality financial intelligence information. Don't miss this information. I'll be bringing more on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I love you for watching to this, uh, uh, to this extent. Don't forget to click that like button. Now, click it. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Peace.